Welcome to Redefining Medicine, an intimate and personalized program that illustrates a different side of the practice of medicine. Our in-depth conversations will focus on the physicians and practitioners who are redefining medicine through their integrative, functional, and holistic approach to health and well-being. Welcome to our weekly podcast, Redefining Medicine. We are pleased to welcome Dr. Turner, a renowned educator, clinician, and founder of Holistic Clinic Vine Medical Associates based in Roswell, Georgia, where she treats rare and unusual diseases in patients from around the world. Welcome, Dr. Turner. Thank you. It's nice to be here. You last visited the podcast in 2019 and shared with us your journey to anti-aging medicine and more. Provide us with an overview of what your practice has been up to since then. My goodness, well, especially, I'm sure like most of the other providers out there right now, we're all dealing with this pandemic and trying to make sure that our patients are well taken care of, trying to provide them the best information that's available, but keeping up with the volume of research that is out there every day is is quite daunting. So we're doing the best we can and following modifying guidelines every single day and trying to take care of people, keeping them out of harm's way and then uh, pre-vaccination treatment as well as post-vaccination or around their vaccination treatment and then helping them navigate disease should they contract any sort of virus or illness. Uh, we do a lot of IV therapy. We use peptide therapy. We use hormone replacements primarily as our as our uh, mode of therapy. We use nutrition. We have a dietitian who works in our office. So there's lots of ways that we can help. We do in, injections in joints and tendons to help maintain activity levels. Um, we use I- injections as well as um, IV therapies for our executives, um, for our athletes to help maintain their mental focus and function. Um, That's probably the majority of what we do. Your practice, Vine Medical, focuses on all aspects of wellness, including physical, emotional, and spiritual health. Can you explain and maybe provide us with a few examples of how this whole person approach is practically applied in your practice? I can. I have several patients that come to mind. One in particular is a patient who had SIRS, chronic inflammatory response syndrome, and was not aware that this had happened. He'd probably had it for 16 years by the time I met him for the first time. And at the time I was practicing uh, volume medicine, probably seeing 20 patients a day. So I had not cut back on my patients or changed my model yet. So I didn't really have the time to see him. And as my model changed and he continued to stay with my practice, it was great to be able to work with him and realize that that was what was happening to him. I was able to get a better, more thorough history and be able to address the problems that were present. Well, not only that, but when we talked about, he had a situation where he was unable for financial reasons to move away from the source of his uh, chronic inflammatory response. And so we, one of the, the things that we did was talk about, okay, well, what else is going on in your life that might be contributing? Because even if we remove you from this situation, you still have this other situation, had a situation with a family member that was very difficult, a a social relationship that was very difficult that was affecting his um, ability to be well. And so because that relationship had not been worked on, even if we'd worked on all of the things regarding his SIRS to create a better situation with those, we probably wouldn't have completely gotten him better until he'd addressed that. So it was very interesting to to work on sort of all sides of his health, not just his, um, it was also dealing with his professional health and his own feelings about himself as a man for having been unable to work for several years because of this illness. So working with him through all of those things, in addition to direct, directly working on the um, inflammation and the problems with his surge was really very helpful. So he was able to finally get out of that house because of working on all those other social aspects. Where would you like to see your practice in one year? Mm, Well, we have, because some of us are still using insurance, I think at some point we'd love to see that move forward. I would love to see us move all of us forward in that direction, moving away. The problem with taking insurance is is that it, the kind of patients that it draws are patients who not necess- don't necessarily want to engage in their health. And so 
It's difficult if you don't want to change your diet, you don't want to change your lifestyle, and you don't want to be a partner with me in fixing the things that are wrong. That makes it sort of an uphill battle for me to be able to help, help you. And a lot of times if patients are coming because their insurance referred them to me, they're actually expecting me to be the kind of doctor who will give them a pill for every ill. And that's not what we do. So it's sometimes surprising and confusing for patients to have that. It's also frustrating for us when patients come to us and we don't feel like we can help because there are things that are not happening at home that we can't fix. So things like diet, things like moving, getting your body moving every day, um, things like working on your emotional health and, and spiritual health. If we're not doing all of those pieces and engaged in getting you towards well, towards your best self in everything, then we're going to have trouble getting getting you well regardless of what we do. Hey there, listeners. It's your host of the weekly podcast, Redefining Medicine. I have a question for you. How much time do you spend ordering functional lab tests for your patients? Ordering from multiple lab companies for hundreds of patients can quickly turn into hours of admin time. But there's a new way to order lab tests that I'm excited to share with you. Rupa Health is a tool that lets you order 20 plus specialty labs in a single portal. You can order all tests you normally do from companies like Dutch, Vibrant, Genova, and Great Plains, and so many more. Imagine you're ordering a hormone panel for a patient that includes tests from three different labs. You have to log into three different websites to place separate orders, and then come back weeks later to check tracking number and download results. Rupa eliminates all of that by having all ordering, tracking, and results in a single place, and they also handle invoices, tracking shipments, automated follow-ups, personalized instructions for completing tests, and so much more. The best part about Rupa, it's free for all practitioners. Go to rupahealth.com, that's R-U-P-A health.com, to join a live demo or sign up to see how it works. Now let's get back to today's show. And last question, it's so important that healthcare providers are as intentional with their own health as they are with their patients. Are there any particular habits, hobbies, or rituals that you regularly practice to help you remain grounded and healthy? Yes, I love the, that you use the word grounded. That's that's super helpful. I think it's important um, in, to have some sort of grounding practice. I do, um, I use an energy healer. I also will go outside, shoes off, trying to uh, get myself you know, in nature and, and away from cell phones and away from all the things that are around us that, that trigger us, um, our computers and our laptops. And I sit in front of a computer all day long with my patients. And as much as that's important and necessary for me to be faster and more efficient at what I do, it also does um, cause potentially some like, exposure for me. Uh, so habits that I follow, um, I, am, I regularly exercise in the last year or so, I had a transition in the way I exercise, partly because of my age myself. Uh, instead of being doing so much cardio, I went to a more weightlifting program and started doing, and I do that on a regular basis, three or four days a week. I also started salsa dancing, which is really fun. My husband got us salsa lessons for Christmas, so that's our um, cardio now, and we do that together as a couple as we're empty nesters, so we we do that together, and I think both of those are really important. So working on our relationship as well as doing something physical for us, getting us both up off the sofa, up off the, the office chair, uh, keeping us moving. And then we started doing Green Chef meals, which helps us both to eat at home more often and then to cook together more often, eating healthier meals. So I'm sure there's other groups that are really good, but that's the one we landed on that's delicious to us. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Turner, for spending time with us today, sharing your insights and also your expertise. We truly appreciate you. It's a pleasure. Thank you. And thank you to all of our listeners. Until next time. Bye.